All right, guys, welcome to your 53rd C++ tutorial. And if you've been following these tutorials, you know that I've been gone for like a week and I might be kind of rusty with C++, but uh, I'll get the hang of it. I've actually been planning something and I'm not going to tell you guys what it is, but I will say that it's awesome and it's going to happen in about a month. So that's your uh, little teaser. So now let's get back into C++. Let me get my head straight. I actually just opened this program. So I think what I was supposed to teach next was about protected because that's what it's looking like. So I think in the last tutorial I just covered basic inheritance. I probably should have, you know, watched that video, watched the last video before I started doing this one, but who has time for that? So let's go ahead and talk about what a protected member is. You know, whenever I first made a class like this mother class right here, um, automatically it's stuck in public, protected, and private, those three variables, or I mean those three code words, and you're supposed to put all your functions and variables in there, and I usually just deleted private or protected, and I'm like, don't worry about that, we'll worry about this later. Well, now is the time to worry about it. So let's go ahead and in our mother class, let's throw in those keywords again. So public, we already know what this does. Let's go ahead and make a variable for each one. So we already know what public means. Um, anywhere inside this class has access to this stuff and also outside this class can also access this stuff. Whenever you write something in public it pretty much means anywhere in the program you can access this crap. So we'll just name it public v for public variable. So now let's go ahead and talk about protected. Well, before we talk about protected, let's talk about private because, I mean, might as well get out of the way the things you know already. We already know that whenever we make something like a private variable, that this means that only inside this class has access to this variable. For example, if we want to go in another class or in this main CPP class, this class would not have access to these private variables. And that's why we need to build methods inside this class that are public to access those private variables. So basically what we know so far, whenever we make something public, any other file has access to it. Whenever we make something private, only this file or only this class has access to it. So you're saying, all right, this is A, this is B. So what the heck is this one? It's kind of like sitting in the middle. Is it like a combination of both? Well, yes it is. Listen very closely. Whenever you make something protected, here's what it means. Anything inside the class has access to it, just like public and just like private. Any friend has an access to it. And remember, we talked about friends earlier. Pretty much just uh, out things outside the class that has access to stuff inside your class. And also, your base classes. Remember, a derived class inherits from the base class, right? So any class that is inheriting from this class has access to it. So if we were to make a private variable in this mother class and then the daughter class inherited everything from mother, well, it wouldn't inherit the private variables. These private variables are still private to mother. Even though daughter inherited from mother, daughter does not get these private variables. Daughter would, in fact, get public and protected. So it would inherit these two but not private. So that way you can kind of see it's a mix between public and private. Um, it doesn't let anything inherit it like public and it doesn't just stay in this class like private. It's kind of like in between. So let me go ahead and make um, a protected variable protected v and I'll go ahead and show you guys an example. So let's go ahead and build a function inside daughter and we'll just name this Go ahead and make a public function, of course. Public, and we'll just name it like do something. Did I spell that right? Eh, close enough. So now let's go ahead and build this method right here. And I keep thinking like I'm forgetting something, but I guess it's just because I haven't programmed in a while. So let's go ahead and put void daughter. Hopefully I'm doing this right. All right, and what was that? Oh, do something, and got it right there for me, how nice. So now, we'll just go ahead and do this. Well, actually, I might as well do this one at a time. This will probably show it to you very clearly. So let's go ahead, and before we even start coding this function right here, let's go ahead and build a daughter object. So daughter, uh, I think her name should be Tina. That seems appropriate for this tutorial. And Tina dot do something, right like that. 
So now hopefully when you run this, nothing happens because nothing's in this function right now. So let's go ahead and see just if we have any errors right now. Nothing happens, good. So let's go ahead and do this. Let's say we want to access that public variable and we'll just like set equal to a number or something. We just want to try and access it. So let's go ahead and try to access that public variable and do something to it like set it equal to one or something stupid. Well, we go ahead and run this and no errors. So we know whenever we do that, that we do indeed have access to the public variable. And just a reminder, this daughter class is inheriting everything from this mother class. And that includes a public variable, a protected variable, and a private variable. Now we already know that daughter can access that public variable in this line of code right here. So now let's try and step it up a notch. Now let's go ahead and try to access that protected variable. Protected V right there. Well, if we go ahead and try and set this equal to, you know, two or something like that, and we build and run it, it works perfectly. So therefore, we can see that the, uh, excuse me, the derived class can indeed access the protected members of the base class. And remember, mother is the base class, daughter is the derived class. Whatever does the inheriting, aka the daughter, is the derived class. The core class that has the crap we want to inherit from, that's called the base class. So now we know that we can indeed access public and protected members from the base class. Now let's go ahead and do something that we know we're not allowed to do and try to access a private variable. And let's go ahead and try to set this equal to three. And now we'll go ahead and try and build and run this. And it says, uh-uh, Bucky, I don't think so. You know the rules. You are not allowed to inherit private members. So that's why we're getting an error whenever we try to inherit for a private variable. So the concept behind this tutorial is not to build a stupid program that does nothing, but it's this. Whenever you're inheriting from a class, you can inherit all the public stuff, you can inherit all the protected stuff, but you cannot inherit the private stuff. So remember, whenever you have a base class, you're gonna get this crap, and you're gonna get this crap, but uh-uh, you ain't getting this class, biatch. I meant crap. Oh, that's embarrassing. But I'm not going to redo this tutorial just because I messed up that one sentence. Okay, got it. All right, so let's, um, you know, that's enough of me talking for this tutorial. I think that's, uh, I think you guys understand the concept by now. Basically, at the heart of this tutorial, you can inherit everything except private variables. I could have made this tutorial real short, but I didn't. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. And by the way, if you guys want um, a nice organized playlist, um, I don't I don't really like doing them on YouTube because it's not really easy to organize that way but uh, if you go to my website I have all my videos laid out you can watch one right after the other from clicking a button everything's nice laid out in a nice playlist for you guys so thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video